The king of Jordan recently met with President Barack Hussein Obama at the White House. They talked about Syrian refugees, combating ISIS, and how it is that Obama is going to spend close to half a billion dollars on building a sophisticated fence along Jordan's northern and eastern borders to help stop the flow of refugees. Folks, you can't make this up. Now, why Obama isn't spending your tax money on our fence? Maybe he doesn't think there's a problem. Let me show him some pictures that say otherwise. There you see a big, huge 18-foot fence, and it just suddenly stops. Go ahead, next. It stops so this way we can have that, because that's very effective, that Normandy-style border. Go ahead, what's next? Then, of course, we have the very dangerous chicken wire, which just says, do not come over into the U.S. What do we have next? Yes, more than Normandy style fencing, because you can't you can't jump over that, right? What's next? Yeah, then the Normandy style fence actually broken down. So this way we can make it really super easy. We don't want anybody hurting their ankles. Then of course we have signs throughout some of our parks saying smuggling and illegal immigration may be encountered in this area. That's a hundred miles up from the border. Oh, and then this one. I love this one. This is when the drug cartels say, you know what? We don't want to drive down to those uh, Normandy fences. We don't have enough gas. So let's just cut the fence and drive through, which they do. Go ahead. And then, of course, we just make it easy for them, and we lift the fence up. Next photo. Yeah, there you go. You can drive a truck through. It's six foot tall. Go. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. So you can see they're just cutting out where the Border Patrol is while they're cut you, cutting these steel frames. <laughs> Who knows? And there's, there's yours truly jumping over into Mexico because that's such a nice place to go. Next. Oh, then, of course, in Texas. This is my favorite. In case you come over that fence and you need a little help, we're going to help you out. Just press the red button. And it doesn't matter if you're English, Spanish, or, of course, Chinese, how they're coming through the Mexican border. Who knows? Go ahead. And then, of course, there's no fence, and that's because uh, they don't want to stop deer from being able to migrate through a river. That looks more like a puddle to me, but okay. And then, of course, if you're swimming in Mexico and you feel like drying off in America, we've made that available for you as well. And then if we go to Canada, yes, Canada, as you can see, there's no border fence. And as we walk down the block to the Border Patrol Station, yeah, there it is right there. It's looking a little outdated. Why is that? because nobody is inside. Yes, that is our border protection up in Canada. Okay, you could come back to me. It's depressing as it is. Why it is that we're building fences in Jordan versus building fences in Arizona and Texas and everywhere else to protect the sovereignty of this country? Uh, only President Barack Hussein Obama knows and because he wants to fundamentally transform America into something none of us recognize. He's doing a great job. I want to hear from you. 